is Unit 3, Lesson 7, Example Number 3. So describe a sequence. So we mean that means there's going to be more than one. Right? A sequence means more than one thing has happened. That will map ABC onto DEF. So again, we want to get into the habit of identifying our pre-image. And I don't have to write the full word pre-image. I can just write pre. And this is going to be my image. So I know I'm trying to map ABC onto triangle DEF. Okay, well again, you could have multiple answers here depending on what order you do things in, what you do first. Um, however, first I noticed that I am going to, um, I am going to slide my figure over so that A corresponds with D. So I'm going to have an A prime there. This is three units apart. B prime and C prime. All right, so first thing I notice is a slide. I can slide this over. And again, a sequence means more than one is going to happen. So if I slide that over, okay, um, I then would perform a flip, which we know is a reflection, to map those on. I could have reflected first and then slid. Um, I wouldn't have performed a rotation because orientation changed, all right? Um, if I go C, A, B, well, then my order for the other one, if I start at C, would be starting at F. I have F, E, D. Well, A and E don't correspond, so I know that orientation has changed. So I know a reflection had to have taken place, not a rotation. Okay. So again, I could have reflected first and then translated. Um, however, I saw the slide first, so I'm going to say a translation. And it's only a horizontal translation, so I'm going to see how many units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units to the right. followed by a flip, which is a reflection, over the x-axis. Again, we have the coordinate grid, so we are able to count how many units it was translated by. We have a line of reflection that we can use um, as our reference. Okay. So it says to describe. So description can be in words. You don't have to write a rule for it. It didn't say write a rule in function notation. It didn't say write a rule in composition notation. So if it just says the word, it just says describe, you can just write a written description of what happened. All right? But I have to say what came first followed by what happened second. Could I have said ABC, um, uh, we should maybe finish this, will map triangle ABC onto triangle DEF. Right? Could I have said that if we reflect triangle ABC over the x-axis and translate it six units to the right, that would still be absolutely correct. I'm going to show you the other two notations that you could have used if you wanted to write it in function notation or composition notation. Again, these were not required because it said describe, which means you can use words. So for function notation, What came second was the reflection over the x-axis. And what came first was a translation, 6 in the x, 0 in the y, on triangle ABC. Again, we work backwards. Again, this is our function notation. Just like if we had f of x, we apply the function to x. Right Here we are applying the transformation to ABC. Our other notation is composition. Again, neither of these notations were required. If you're like Ms. Gallo, I'm good with the description, then just use the description. That's fine. Again, what came second was the reflection over the x-axis. According to my description, your description may be different. And what came first was the translation six units uh, to the right, zero in the y. Again, on triangle ABC. We don't need these parentheses here. OK, 
Okay, I could have put parentheses to say of ABC. Again, what we do first is the translation followed by the reflection in the X. So there's a problem below for you to try on your own, and we will go over that answer tomorrow in class.